Copper cab man. Just gone too far, broski bro. Alright. You know, I've made a video supporting you, telling people to get off your back. But, you know, you've just said some totally ridiculous things in your recent videos. Like, one thing you've been talking, like, this doesn't even matter to me, but you keep getting upset over the fact that you listened to dubstep before all y'alls were in diapers. Sorry for the quote thing, I know it was obnoxious, but I was quoting what he was saying. But, doesn't matter. No one fucking cares whether you were the first to listen to it or not. What brings my piss to a boil is that you always think you know what you're talking about. You think that you're God, okay? You think that you know all there is to know about topics. If you actually research your topics before you talk about them, well, anyways, let's get on. Um, Copper Cab's most recent video, entitled Video Games Kill People, he explains why games such as Call of Duty are bad and cause wars and cause violence and riots and shit. He blames that, he blames people, he claims that the reason there's people like Gaddafi in the world, or like him who was in the world who was killed recently, that's not the point, that's kind of what brought his video on, but, he said people like him only exist in the world because of games like that. Okay, well, obviously he's wrong, because he first got, well, let's see, what's it say? It says he first came into power in 1969 when he seized power in blood bloodless military until 1977 and remained the country's symbolic leader. So, he's been around for quite a damn while, okay? Long before any of those games came out. That was Atari age, okay? Like, there weren't even that many Atari games yet. And the most violence there is you're running around little squares shooting other squares. It's a tank, okay? The point is, video games do not cause wars, okay? That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Like, seriously. I don't even play Call of Duty or stuff like that, because I don't have an Xbox 360 or a PS3 or any of those systems. But, I don't look down on them. I don't blame them for everything. I play games that are violent as shit, okay? I'll play Grand Theft Auto. I'll play Conker's Bad Fur Day. I'll play lots of games. But, that doesn't make me go out there, steal cars, beat up hookers, chop their freaking heads off with a chainsaw, okay? The point is, video games do not kill people, just like guns don't kill people. People kill people, okay? We need to get that straight. People, they'll go out there, make their own self-conscious decision what they're going to do in the real world. So, that's the difference between a video game and real life. There are no boundaries in video games, pretty much. And most people are sense, you know, they're sensical enough to know that, like, they have common sense in their head. They know that if they go do this shit in the real world, they're gonna get arrested or put to death. Okay, that's the same kind of shit that happened with Columbine years and years ago. They blamed everything on video games. What was the game? Was it Wolfenstein? No, it was Doom. Anyways, they blamed that kind of shit on the game Doom. And they said that corrupted the kids' minds. Well, that's subject to debate, in my opinion. Because I think they have to be a little bit off their rockers to begin with to do something crazy shit like that, like kill like 20, 30, 40, 50 people in a school. Okay? They already have to be a little bit out of their minds to do that. So... You can't take the average person with a stable mind and compare them to someone like that. 
How many cases do you hear of of people who actually go out and kill people and blame it on a video game? But aside from that, Copper Cab, dude. Ah, I stood up for you, man. You're just making more of an ass of yourself. Like, this video is totally ridiculous. And you even admitted yourself that you play RuneScape, and that the same thing, you kill monsters in that. Oh, and it says in the comments that Angry Birds is promoting animal violence, and it's disgusting. I don't play Angry Birds either, but I don't give a shit. I don't think it's disgusting. Like, really? Do you think people are going to play Angry Birds and say, Oh, I got an idea. How about I take this bird and throw it at a pig? Copper Cab, you're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about, so just stop. Stop shitting on what everyone else likes to do, okay? It may make you feel better. Um, I don't even think it does make you feel better. It said, well, yeah, he says it's fine. It's good for him because he finally found something for him to stand up for again. But, regardless. Stop. Things are only going to get worse for you, dude. I don't even know what to say anymore. But, this crap... And before Gaddafi, there was lots of killing and violence. So way before video games, look back to frickin' ancient Rome. Uh... Look back to Greece, the medieval days, all back then were all very violent too. So you can't blame all the all our world's violence on video games in the media, okay? Like Hitler, you know, anyone who doesn't know who he is is just off the rocker. But the point is, think back to him. Long before anything like a video game was put into our heads to have that idea, he caused death and destruction everywhere. Okay? So, Copper Cab, just stop talking your shit, okay? Because you, you haven't impressed anybody. You're not going to change anybody's minds. And, uh, that's all I have to say. See ya.